My family always lived in the mountains, so we had lots of sto hunting stories, um, fishing stories about where the, where the good fishing holes were and um, my dad's stories of where he went hunting and how many people went hunting with him and when they came back how they shared the food with some of the people uh, in the Star School area. Everyone um, was poor then. So those stories I consider contemporary stories yet there were always lessons in them that he provided to us like having growing up with ten sisters and we grew up in the country. So things my dad would tell us about here's how you behave when you're out in around where you might run into animals or uh, something that could be dangerous to you. And he'd say things like, uh, don't, don't let them see your eyes. Um, and it always, always give them a way out. So those things, just as little five, six, seven year old children, um, go back to origin stories. And as, as my children grew up, one of the stories, oral stories, I remember my dad telling us about when we started getting into junior high and high school age where we began to want to socialize more. They would tell us, he would tell us the story about um, Noppy and the um, mice. And when Noppy wanted to go and um, stick his head in a, in a in an elk skull because these mice in there were having such a good time. And uh, they finally agreed to let him go into uh, to be with them, but they told him, you can't, whatever you do, now we're going to be dancing for four days and you can't go to sleep. Well, he had such a good time, pretty soon he went to sleep. Well, when he woke up, there was nobody there and it was so silent and he had his head stuck in an elk skull. So he gets up and he runs to blindly here and there and falls in the river and comes out and um, some kids are playing and everybody's afraid of him but they finally realize that he's got this elk skull so they pull it off and when they pull it off his hair is gone. There's chunks of it that the mice chewed his eyebrows off, chewed his hair off. And that, later I realized, there's where my dad was telling us this story. Don't try to be with the wrong crowd. Don't try to, because you're going to get in trouble. 